Anglo Gold Ashanti is going ahead with the retrenchment of 8,500 miners in the free, in the three mines in the Free State and Gauteng, the world's third largest gold miner. Elia announced that it would reduce its South African workforce by a third. Some of its unprofitable mines have reached the end of their economic lives. Fears and sleepless nights after receiving news that they will soon be walking the unemployment line. 4,500 miners at Kopanang in the Free State and another 4,000 at Tautona and Savuga in Caltonville on the West Rand will be axed. We can't sleep at night. We worry a lot because we have families and installments to take care of. We no longer enjoy work. Working while you know your days are numbered is unpleasant. You don't even eat anymore. So that's a problem. We are going to starve now. We hope they'll give us what's due to us. Unions have intervened. But they too have little hope of saving the situation. Looking at how they are doing business, I don't think they will reverse their decision because of their brutality, but will do whatever it takes as National Union of Mine Workers to make them not continue with what actually they are anticipating to do. In a statement to the SABC, the mining company says the situation is untenable. Anglo Gold Ashanti, which employs about 28,000 people, says the affected mines have been making unsustainable losses, indicating a possible depletion of minerals as the mines have been operating for decades. In the last five years, the mining industry in the country has shared about 70,000 jobs, increasing unemployment rates in the country. Silwane Khakhau, SABC News. Copanang Mine in the Free State.